When we travel around our community, we see dense clusters of components in what most people label as a substation. But what are these components? Uh, transmission stations are stations where making voltage changes from bulk power to sub-transmission, for instance, uh, from between uh, 230 and 345 kV in the bulk power system in, in New York State, uh, down to 115 and, and 69 kV. Uh, the station comprises both power transformation as well as protection and control there. Uh, if you picture a high voltage line, let's say 230 or 345 kV coming into a transmission station, this is first intercepted by a surge protection. Each device has both power circuit breakers to protect it and to interrupt a fault on either a transformer or a line, and then the protective relaying that goes along with circuit interruption devices to decide whether this is a, a temporary or a, a sustained fault. And so, in, for instance, in a power transformer, any fault is a lockout or a, treated as a sustained fault. On the transmission line, there's a possibility that this is a lightning stroke and that uh, after a short period of time, uh, a reclosure can occur, usually successfully, to reestablish the circuit. So you have a momentary outage on that particular circuit. Other features in the transmission station include massive transformers, which change the voltage, and shunt capacitor banks 